Hey, what's up guys? I do hope you are all having a great day. Today is day number four of the daily December uploads and because the weather outside today is not that great, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to install a comms unit in your helmet. So without further ado, let's begin the video. Alright guys, so I picked up this cheap little the comms unit off of Amazon for about 45 bucks. This is the model number right there. I don't know exactly what the brand is, but if you just go on Amazon and look for the comms units for your motorcycle, the helmet, this will pop up. And the reason why I chose to buy a cheap one like this is mainly because I needed a comms unit specifically to just listen to music. Um, I don't really need it to answer calls. I have installed this on my helmet before um, and it does answer calls great. I have only used it mainly to listen to music and I can say this was a good purchase. So once you open the package, this is what you have inside. You have the actual comm unit, you have a microphone attached to it and the two speakers. The helmet I'm gonna be using is my Scorpion RX320. This is my first helmet and it's been good so far and I've just needed it and I just needed to put speakers in it so I could enjoy my rides even more. The very first thing that I did was decide where I want the comms unit to, to go. Um, in this kit, you can, it comes with one 3M tape on the back side of this and, you, I just, uh, and I just aligned it to where I wanted the comms unit to be. So it would just be right there like that. All the buttons are accessible. When you are deciding to do this, make sure that your, your specific motorcycle, the helmet, has inserts for your speakers. If not, they're gonna be bulging out of the, the pads. To install this, it is, it is pretty easy. Just make sure um, on the helmet you're installing it that it does have the spots for these speakers to go into. So anyways, um, you could remove the, the chin curtain here, but if you don't want to, that's fine. So you just have to pop out the pads on both sides of the helmet and just pop out the cushion. Same goes on the other side as well. There you go. And you should have access to the spots for your speakers. Now, just for reference for mine, um, these speakers that, that come with the comms unit did end up being too big. So what I did was I just cut out a, a little bit extra around the speaker insert. Now, do this at your own risk if you want to do this. But if you do, the do it at your own risk because this, this does affect the integrity of your motorcycle, the helmet. So do this at your own risk. For me personally, I know that in a month or so i'm going to be i'm going to be upgrading my helmet anyways and i'm going to be investing in a newer comm unit as well um that i was okay doing this now for the speakers there's there is a speaker that has a long wire and there's a speaker that has a short wire the speaker with the short wire goes on the side your the comms unit is going to be on and the speaker with the long wire goes on the other side so for mine the speaker with the short wire is going on the left and the speaker with the long wire is going on the right. So like this, this one's on the left, the, this one's on the right. So I start on the right side of the helmet and insert the speaker in. Usually there, there's a Velcro on the back that sticks into the insert. So I just stick that there and I route the wire through the helmet. You may need to remove the, this back piece as well, this back, the cushion as well. So do that, route it through, and you can route whatever extra wire in the end as well, just because there may be excess in there. So just put that through, 
and close it same on this side as well close it and there's that side for the speaker now for the left side you pretty much do the exact same thing put that in there and just tuck whatever and just tuck the extra wire behind the, the back cushion now what's left is the the, the microphone so attach that on the inside as well and make sure you find a spot that's comfortable for you and you can adjust this afterwards too just to make sure the mic quality is okay for, on, on your end and then just tuck in the wire there now what's left is to do is take the cushion and just put that back in now for me see here with how wires come out i had to cut a small a small gap in there just to get the wires out So now with all that in place, the last thing to do is connect up your comms unit to where you mounted it. So for this one, it's just a quick um, insert like that. Like that and connect the wire. Now that you have this extra wire, just tuck it back inside afterwards and you're good to go. And now you've installed a comms unit in your helmet. The way I did it, some of you guys might not agree with it because I had to make holes on the inside of my helmet just to make it fit. But besides that, installing them is pretty much the same with every single type of helmet and the comms unit. And there you guys have it. That's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you guys did, please do consider hitting hitting the subscribe button down below and liking the video as and it does help me out. Um, I'm attempting to try and get to 300 subs by the end of the year. So we only have a couple more weeks to do this and I'm going to be doing my best to upload every day for the month of December. So with that being said guys, hope you guys enjoyed. Comment down below the comms unit setup that you have for yourself as well. And I hope to catch you all in tomorrow's video. See ya.